Drag each number to the correct location on the image. Each number can be used more than once, but not all numbers will be used. Consider the quadratic equation below. Negative 2x squared plus 11x plus 7 equals 10 plus 4x. Determine the correct setup for solving the equation using the quadratic formula. So before I can do this, I want to go back and um, on my paper and work this out a little bit, and then we'll come back to the iPad. But you've got to be able to see the problem. And the thing about using the quadratic equation, just like factoring, is that the equation needs to be set equal to 0. So I'm going to start by moving the 4x from the right side to the left side of the equation. So we have negative 2x squared plus 7x plus 7 equals 10. Well, again, when we're solving whether it's quadratic formula or factoring, we need to have the equation set equal to 0. So let's move the 10. So we're going to subtract 10 from both sides. And we get negative 2x squared plus 7x minus 3 equals 0. If you went through the tutorial in Edmentum, this is standard form. And what we can identify from here is that a is the number in front of the x squared term, b is the number in front of the x term, and c is the constant, the number without a variable. Notice that the number in front of the x squared term was negative 2. I kept the sign. The number in front of the x was 7, positive 7. The constant was negative 3. And once we know those three pieces, we're going to use those values to put back into the quadratic formula. And in case you did not go through the tutorial, the quadratic formula is the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a. That is something that you want to put in your notes by your computer as you're taking the practice, the unit test, whatever the case may be. So let's look at the iPad here now that we know what A and B and C are. And um, I was hoping to be able to show both, but I can't. But we said that B is 7. So negative 7. Okay, good, I got that. Plus or minus the square root of B squared. So we're going to have 7 squared minus 4 times A. A, we said, is negative 2, times C, we said, is negative 3, all divided by 2 times A. Again, A is negative 2. And that's what we would use to solve the quadratic formula, solve a quadratic equation with the quadratic formula.